The challenge of hunting with a handgun is what draws a small but loyal conjurer of handgun hunters to the sport. Hunting with a handgun requires you to get close enough to an animal that it can hear, smell, or see you if you make a mistake. Handgun hunting also requires keen marksmanship and a level of familiarity with your firearm that hunting with other weapons don't. Currently, several manufacturers produce handguns with serious knockdown power. But which ones are the best? I decided to take a look at the biggest and baldest hand cannons available. You don't want to choose the wrong tool for your next handgun hunting adventure, and you won't with these top-notch hunting gun options. Taurus Raging Bull In wildcat form, the 454 Castle has been around nearly as long as the 44 Magnum, but it wasn't popularized commercially until the late 90s. The aptly named Taurus Raging Bull was among the first, and still the most popular, double-action revolvers designed to handle this powerhouse of a cartridge. The 454 kicks more than most shooters can handle, but who are we to say? It remains a popular and effective hunting round. The Raging Bull has an excellent trigger, good sights, a 5-round dual-locking cylinder, and a ported barrel that tames at least a bit of that vicious recoil. Thompson Center Encore Pro Hunter Thompson Center's single-shot handguns have been popular with hunters since the 1960s. These unique firearms offer a level of versatility not found in other guns. TC's various frame assemblies and barrels allow you to transform your pistol into a rifle by removing a few pins. That level of modularity is appealing to many hunters. The Encore Pro Hunter pistols are available in 223 Remington and 308 Winchester, so they're suitable for hunting a wide variety of game, and their combination of synthetic materials and stainless steel allow these guns to withstand the worst elements. The single shot design is safe and reliable, and accuracy is excellent. Smith & Wesson X-Frame Revolvers Smith & Wesson's X-Frame Revolvers are not for the faint of heart, and they're probably not the best hunting handgun for new shooters. These massive revolvers are chambered in either 460 SW Magnum or 500 SW Magnum, both of which produce energy that's on par with centerfire rifles. As you might imagine, performance is outstanding, and if you're a serious handgun hunter and want to target elk, moose, bison, and large bears, these guns are an excellent choice. Just know, the X-Frame has a prodigious muzzle blast, but if killing a big bull or boar with a pistol is on your bucket list, these revolvers are your best shot. Taurus Raging Hunter We like the name of the Taurus handgun hunting revolver. We like the way the revolver handles and shoots too. Raging Hunter revolvers are available in 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and 454 Castle, and three barrel lengths, 5.12, 6.75, and 8.37 inches. These double action wheel guns offer a top rail for mounting optics. Barrel ports and a large cushioned grip help keep recoil manageable. Raging Hunter revolvers come in either matte black or two tone finishes, and the dual locking cylinder ensures years of reliable use. These features, along with a very reasonable price point, make the Raging Hunter a great option. Magnum Research BFR 500 SW Magnum I believe that single-action revolvers are better configured for handling cartridges that develop an abundance of pressure, recoil, and power. The 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum is, by a margin, at the top of the power production heap. This one's built on the stretched frame BFR platform, and while a bit ungainly looking, it handles and balances extremely well when equipped with a 7.5 inch barrel. A cartridge such as the 500 Smith & Wesson necessitates a large, well-built revolver to safely handle it, and the BFR is no exception. The extra bulk is your friend when top-end loads are being used, and the Bisley grip frame helps mitigate abusive recoil. 
Despite its proportions, I found this one easy to shoot offhand. In handgun terms, this one has an abundance of horsepower, a necessity when your game's weight is measured in tons. If a pachyderm is in your sights, this is your Huckleberry. Ruger Super Red Hawk The Ruger Super Red Hawk is an American-made double-action revolver that's built with the serious hunter in mind. These guns feature all stainless steel construction and come with machine scope bases and rings for mounting an optic. The Super Red Hawk's beefy frame utilizes a lot of steel, and that makes these guns extremely strong and durable. It also adds some weight to the gun's frame, which isn't a bad thing considering the Super Red Hawk is chambered in hot cartridges like the 454 Castle and 480 Ruger, in addition to the venerable 44 Magnum. A triple locking cylinder adds to the Super Red Hawk's reputation for rugged dependability. Expect decades of service from these double action revolvers, even when firing hard hitting Magnum ammunition. All Super Red Hawks come with Ruger's precision cold hammer forged barrels for maximum accuracy. Hogue Tamer grips mitigate the impact of heavy recoil. Korth NXR 44 Magnum. Germany's Korth Firearms builds what are arguably the best revolvers in the world, and Nighthawk Custom imports these guns into the United States. The NXR 44 Magnum is available with either a 4 or 6 inch precision hammer forged 416R stainless barrel with a ventilated barrel shroud. The metalwork comes with a durable DLC coating, and the oversized Turkish walnut target grip provides a firm grasp on the gun even when firing hot 44 mag loads. Other features include a Picatinny top rail and an additional bottom rail for mounting barrel weights, removable side panels and front sights, and adjustable rear sights. Korth revolvers are precision machines, capable of incredible accuracy and priced accordingly. Smith & Wesson Model 350 Only announced in August of 2022, the Smith & Wesson Model 350 is still very new, so not much is known beyond what was provided by the company. The primary draw of this gun, if you couldn't guess from its name, is its 350 Legend chambering. The straight-walled cartridge was introduced in 2019, primarily for deer hunters in states that prohibit the use of bottlenecked cartridges. Since then, it has grown substantially in popularity, but until now it was primarily used in rifles. Now, with Smith & Wesson's release of the Model 350, handgun hunters have the opportunity to use 350 Legend as well. The revolver is built on Smith & Wesson's large X-frame, and it's a 7-shot double-action single-action that's fed using moon clips. It has a 7.5-inch barrel, a satin stainless steel finish, and comes with a Hogue rubber grip. Time will tell just how popular this pistol will truly be but it's at least an interesting addition to Smith's catalog. Glock G40 Austria's Gaston Glock revolutionized handgun design when he launched his first polymer-framed striker-fired pistol in the 1980s. Today, polymer-framed semi-autos dominate the self-defense market, but these guns work well for big game hunting too. The Glock G40 MOS features a 6.02-inch barrel, and boasts a magazine capacity of 15 rounds. And the MOS system allows shooters to install the optic of their choice to extend the G40's effective range. At just 32 ounces unloaded and measuring 1.34 inches wide, the G40 MOS is relatively light and compact for a hunting handgun. It fits neatly in chest holsters like Alien Gear chest holster so you can keep both hands free while hunting. The durable black nitride finish on the metal and polymer frame make this gun virtually impervious to the elements. And the G40 is one of the least expensive hunting handguns on the market today. Smith & Wesson 686 Should you need a single handgun that will work for anything, a 4-inch Smith & Wesson 686 357 Magnum would be tough to beat. This stainless steel revolver is built on Smith's L-frame, meaning it's a touch smaller than an N-frame, like the Model 629 44 Magnum, but hefty enough for a lifetime of Magnum shooting. 
the 686 Plus comes with a 7-round cylinder. With a good holster and strong back, you could carry it concealed, but it's at its best enjoying the American sunshine in a hip or shoulder rig. Most 686 are scary accurate and can be used for popping small game with 38 wad cutters and whitetails with full power 357s. If you're looking for a foolproof defensive gun that you don't need to hide, you can't do much better than this. Thank you.